Well, good morning, folks. It's Steve. We're out here on site at uh, out here at Lipa City at the build. It's been it's been a while since I put up my video, but uh, we're gonna we come here today. On, it's on Sunday, and uh, I'm looking at the sky right now. Check it out. It's not raining today. Most of the rain's been uh, been starting in the afternoon, but uh, we finally got out of here. There's been some progress on the house. Uh, we had to wait for uh, our windows to come in from, uh, they were uh, manufactured over in China, and uh, they weren't done locally here. We wanted a little bit better quality, so uh, we had it done in China, we're waiting for the rest of our, our kitchen stuff and uh, all the cabinetry upstairs and even downstairs. Um, to be, it's supposed to be actually in country now, so we're gonna check out see what progress they got going on so let's head on over to the build and uh, see what we got today uh, like I said it's Sunday uh, should be quiet uh, the workers are, are resting or, or at home with their families so it should be a good day to like I said to check out the progress let's head on over and see what's going on You can see as we uh, as we approach the build, I can already see that the, how much more they've done on the fence there. You can tell the welder's been out; uh, he's been out working on that, and uh, you can give you uh, give you an idea of. Uh, here's my neighbors uh, next door. They've actually uh, they're actually working on the landscaping now. He's got the fence in. They're still working on the automation for the uh, for the front gate and the garage door, but we've been getting a ton of bids in. Trying to figure out what's the best option for us. Well, let's check out my build. Let's focus on that today. You can see they've got all the top columns have been poured since uh, the last uh, video that I shot. And let's go check out the actual work on the uh, on the metalwork. Here's pictures of the garage here. We've got just about that ceiling in. They left part of it open because they still got a lot of a lot of electrical work to do. There's where the uh, the bathroom is. Gonna come in. They're gonna start tiling uh, next week on the on downstairs. So I'm pretty excited about that. You can see the setup that we're gonna have here. We'll have. Uh, the door with the windows on it here coming in try to give us as much light as possible um, and then you can see there'll be the same exact uh, style door here and then as it progresses out to the second door here this will be more secure um, so you can see the area here now that's taking shape you'll have your uh, laundry area here um, washer over here and dirty kitchens I'll combine with a storage area and add a storage area on top of that. You can see they've got a lot of the a lot of the trash cleaned up and about time, not all done, but you can see the big hole that they're building now for our septic tank um, in the back here. So they got that tank back here so it can be serviced. <clears throat> Get a truck around to the other side. There's room of in my backyard it's big enough so we can if we have to we can roll that direction on it but here's the metal work simple design nothing fancy most of my stuff uh, is uh, it's concrete hollow block with a small amount of uh, fencing on a lot of guys have uh, a lot more rod iron into uh, rod iron or in this case aluminum but uh, the cost is uh, gets up there when you start putting on a ton of uh, the metal work up there because that, that's where your real expense comes in here uh, overseas but they've done a lot they've got the they've got the uh, walls at least one coat of the coat done and some of them even have more work than that done on it and you can see the uh, they added this canopy up here on top and the corrugated underneath it because it didn't have the the pitch to support it but it's the same style roof they haven't finished with the roof there's one cap on that back side and then one canopy that that needs to be done the welders hadn't finished with it yet so they couldn't put it up 
but uh, let's take a let's take a look out out back and you get an idea of the size of what we're talking about. The back area and the side area will be where the family and stuff are, will play. That'll all be opened up. You can see that there's uh, that's still got to be uh, cleaned up and uh, leveled out. But they're working on the. This will be the next size. After they get through that, they'll finish forming those columns and then and then continue with the welder. will continue putting that uh, that fence design in. And you can see the sliders from the outside. They've got virtually uh, almost all the windows in except for the ones that have like scaffolding supports through them. And after they after those are all in, or I should say after they take the scaffolding and stuff away, get all the work done in, then they'll go ahead and and put the rest of it in. But you can see the all the work that's that's being done up in the uh, in the ceilings. You can see a couple of the doors there, and it looks like there's a slider for upstairs that's missing. Hasn't been put in yet, but they've made a ton of progress now. And just take a closer look at, at, at my windows. These are, of course, they're all dirty and stuff right now, but they're these windows were manufactured in uh, in China, and we chose to go that route because of the huge factories that they have over there they can get the precision that you get um, versus the local these are all they'll have a heavy screen on these two I don't know if you remember, remember some of the earlier videos that I had of uh, Angie's windows my neighbor across the street but they're, they're the same company that did ours and they're going to have uh, super heavy screens on them and these are like I said the dual pane or, or the dual glaze as they refer to them out here um, everything is done that way including the sliders so it's uh, it'll make sure it help with the uh, keep the there's not there's no noise here anyway but I like the, the for the price difference it was about seven hundred dollars difference to have six change to have the uh, dual panes or the single panes and to me that was pretty much a no brainer hey man there's our uh, there's our local uh, guard kid challenging me and asking what I'm doing here I think he's just became part of the property my wife's pretty much adopted him or we're gonna make him full time when he comes in. But I wish I could give you a better picture. I wish I could give you a better picture of the uh, of the sliders, but they're uh, they're all covered up right now. I'm pretty happy with them. The quality of them's good. Let's head on. Let's check out over here. This one area here that hadn't. Uh, we had a leak over here because the cap wasn't put on. The roofers hadn't finished that, but at least they've got this uh, all the tiles in here for the bathroom, and you can see the water on the ground here from the last big rain. It's been raining quite a bit uh, this last week. Uh, I don't know if we just had a weather front come through here, or the rainy season is starting early. I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and check my uh, history on that and. Uh, see what's going on that's why the ceilings that's why they intentionally left these ceilings off on this because they don't have the protection that's needed so let's head upstairs to see what's going on up there I don't know if that any of the crews here sleeping or just chilling sometimes these guys are Allowed three people, but I don't think they have anybody on site. Here's this bathroom, and it looks like that top tile piece is missing, and with with a couple more, still got some work to do on this one. But all the tile is in the bedroom, or I should say bedrooms. The reason that's not covered up is that's going to be done with uh, cabinetry work. On that, on this tile here. So, but you can see the windows. You can see how nice the windows are. And here's the sliders. 
again we changed the color we originally had them a gray we wanted the, the nice gray design on them but the roof was supposed to be gray to match it and we decided to go with that uh, stone coat and the material on that stone coat is a better it's a better roof but we didn't have the availabilities of color that's the only problem and you can see this little feature Dave likes to use that word featured all the time up here and those are up in place I've got to figure out a way to shade this area more because if we if you plan to spend any time out here anybody who's been on the Philippines know the sun's pretty pretty tough out here but this area still has to have um, that the uh, metal bars put in to complete that off and they got to do some more prepping and more painting same thing here electricians been working putting in the junction boxes um, here still got to run them from from down there to up there to get them all all the outlets plugged in so they've finished on top they've done their their designs over the doorways instead of squared off they've done that there let's go into the master bedroom first windows are covered up here I don't know if they do that because uh, I want to keep the sun out and the guys have been hanging out here trying to keep it as cool as possible but this is our master bedroom here and we've got one ceiling fan that's going to come in here in the center and then there's a door leading outside to the same lanai that was out there before and that's a door that's out here Let's continue on over here. And here's our closet. And then here's here's the lanai area out here, the back lanai. Still got to get rid of that trash back there but it's a lot cleaner what it, than what it was and then on top of that they got to patch that wall that wall belongs to the uh, to the actually to the developer and uh, we have permission to um, to clean it up and put a put a coat on it and get it get it looking like the other wall does so it doesn't have those ugly holes and stuff in it uh, I would have put another fence in front of it, but the uh, the trees there kind of uh, stopped that from happening. You'd have to move that fence up a good five feet, uh, maybe more, and I don't want to lose that space. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet um, as far as after we after we get it painted and stuff, because it's not a real solid wall. It's a, Honestly, it was built, the quality was a, it was a low quality build. wasn't happy with it. Uh, with the amount, with the, the quality of the work that was done here, uh, but that's pretty much in par with this whole subdivision. I mean, anything they do, they're not spending any money. The developer doesn't want to pop for any type of money on it. He says he's uh, he's done spending money on it here, and it's a shame. That's the that's the way it is. Well, here's the uh, that we haven't shown, so you can see the progress. All the windows are in, the ceilings are are almost all done. The roofs, about major portion of the roof is, is completed. That bedroom area over there, they needed to put a trim piece on it, and I still to this day do not understand why they did not put that trim piece on it to keep it from leaking. But, and here's a view of our side area and our side lot. So that's our progress. Uh, let's go downstairs and we'll, we'll talk a little bit about what we're gonna do here. We've been out uh, looking at other builds.